Quick scoping with this gun feels a lot like. Oh, I take that collateral. Oh yeah, come on. Oh yeah, come on. <laughs> my window seemed mad open. Somebody on me. What's good, YouTube? I'm Visual, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we're back on Modern Warfare 2, and I think I got just about every weapon that I use golden. I got all the ARs. I got those platinum. Got the SMGs here. Most of these are gold already. I don't have the Bass P or the MX9. I think I don't have these two, but all, all the other ones are pretty much gold now. Then, of course, I got my favorite sniper with the marksman rifle, the SP, the SAB. Yeah, the SAB. I love this gun right here. Oh, my goodness. But I think I'm going to hop in some pubs, just shoot around, see if I, you know, keep the shot warm. I've been enjoying shipment a lot. I've been, as y'all know, I've been making these hot take videos, and a lot of people think that this is the worst iteration of shipment, which to me is insane because Modern Warfare 2019, you can literally jump on top of crates. Like, what are we? talking about man i thought I, I hate getting in games and i have my voice chat on that's literally the worst for me. come here thank you thank you thank you wait how did he die i think the only bad thing i can say about this shipment definitively is that the spawns are terrible but i never play shipment for good spawns you know it's kind of like it's kind of what comes with the territory at this point he laid down, of course he did. Whoa, he is moving. He is moving. I had to sit him down. And then I got sat down. Never mind. Let me know right now in the comments. Where, where would you rank this shipment out of the other ones? I think we had, what, COD 4. Did Modern Warfare 2 have shipment? We, of course, had COD 4 Remastered, World War 2, and Vanguard. Modern Warfare 2019 in this game. And then COD Mobile, too. But I think COD Mobile is kind of like, uh, what's it called? Uh, 2019. But if y'all think about it, COD Mobile definitely should just be its own game for like every platform. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh, just literally, oh, hold on, hold on. I had to. But yeah, COD Mobile had Modern Warfare 2019's version of Shipment. Oh my gosh, y'all laid down, bye. Bye. I feel like Shipment's the most hit or mitt map. Like, hit or mitt? What? Hit or miss, stupid? Thank you. I haven't recorded a cut comment so long, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I've been trying to do different stuff on the channel. As y'all, if y'all been showing love, I really do appreciate it. I just hit the strip club. I spent the 12 10. I really wish they had map variants. So like I wish they had shipment during the day. Some of these other maps are too dark. Like Tarak might not be such a bad map if it wasn't literally grayscale. Oh shoot. He is back on the head end. Oh, no, 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 I knew it. I, knew it. I definitely meant to do that. I feel like Modern Warfare, um, so the original COD 4, like the remastered one, I feel like that one was so ahead of its time, which sounds backwards, but the remastered one had so much content. I think they, did they have supply drops in it? Because it was the year that IW came out, so I think it had supply drops in it. But also had map variants, a lot of great gun blueprints. Like, that game was truly ahead of its time as far as how to handle content. I think if you slapped the Battle Royale on that one too, oh, good stuff. If you slapped the Battle Royale on that game, that would've been peak. Come on team, you gotta step it up, you know? He spawned behind, and then I spawned To be sliding off a of spawn with a shotgun, it's just, that's just different levels of nasty. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. If they could remaster one Call of Duty, ooh, I feel like that would be a good community post too. If they could remaster one Call of Duty, what would it be? And why is the answer Black Ops 2? I feel like if they could, honestly, all right, besides Black Ops 2, if they did remaster a Call of Duty, I would want it to be like Black Ops 3 or something. Like, I would love to see a Jetpack Call of Duty in today's, I don't know, like day and age with where the graphics are and where Call of Duty is in general. I think that'd be kind of cool. Cause if you go back and look at uh, Black Ops 3's graphics, they're not the greatest. Like, you gotta think that game came out on Xbox 360 too, you know? That might not be fair though, because I think that was ported, you know, it was ported to the 360. It wasn't like definitively on there, but still, it was on there. Oh, come here. Please don't let me heat up. I'm not the one. Not the one. Not the one. 
told y'all don't let me heat up. They about to be behind me. So lame. He's lame for that. He's he's actually lame for that. I swear, like if you play one good game, you're gonna get put in the best lobby ever, yo. Somebody did leave a comment on one of the hot take. It was either the hot take video or the community post. If they said Cold War had the best skill-based matchmaking, I never thought of that. But I think I might have to agree. I never really felt like too many. I think they stacked the lobbies too, but I never felt like too many lobbies got super sweaty. You know, like if you're playing with one set of people, I think you can pretty much stay there. But they always break the lobbies and try to get you to play against Optic, you know, if you do good. So. Oh, that did not go where I wanted it to go. Go outside. Thank you. You're dead. Bye-bye. Goofy. Thank you. Thank you. There's three of them. I can't shoot through a riot shield, brother. Oh my gosh. I did not think they'd all be on that heady like that. I'm not going to get it because I'm just going to keep shot in the back. I'm really not going to get it. I got it. Look how everybody has the same amount of kills. That's skill-based matchmaking one-on-one. -on -one. That's literally a prime example. I might title this skill-based matchmaking one-on-one. -on -one. People are gonna click on it like thinking I'm talking about that the whole video. Nope, I'm over here talking about the fact that I'm wearing a bonnet. Yes, a bonnet, bro. I just got my retwist. So I'm gonna show y'all, hold on. Check me out, check me out. Oh my gosh, look at that. That beautiful black hair. Damn, now I gotta put this shit back on, bro. Goofy, I should have left it off. Cause y'all, y'all say y'all didn't care. Sure, y'all did. I will say this game right here is pretty consistent with putting you back with the same people, but it's just like you're always gonna play with the ones that are good. It'll like filter out the bad ones. All due respect. Hey, if you're bad, you know. How are you? How how are you bad in 2023? No shot, y'all out here playing Call of Duty in 2023 and not good. Stuff. But yeah, it'll literally filter out all the bad people and then it'll maintain the lobby, just all the good people in the lobby. That's kind of lame. Look at him in the corner. There was two. Ooh. 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 Oh no, he was the fourth. Oh, uh, I almost had a quad heady, bro. Oh, nah, dog. You gotta give, you gotta just let one more spawn there or something. I think I wanna do another community post. I like doing community posts. Check out the channel if you haven't seen them. Different polls, you know, cool stuff, interaction and stuff. But I think I wanna do another community post where I like react to people's Call of Duty clips. But I don't know if people still clip their, like, quick scopes or if they hit, like, a crazy D. Do people still clip those? Wow, can I like spawn please? So yeah, let me know if that'll be a cool content idea because I think I think it'll be fun. And if you have clips, then you can send them to my Twitter, at Real Visual. Oh, that was terrible. That's how I promote it? Crazy. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it get ready to go I'm pretty sure this outcast guy just runs to any, like both sides of the map. Straight on, straight to a heady. Oh, the hit marker is going to be the bane of my actual existence. Oh, no. I almost slapped back to him. That was kind of hard. Man. Had to go like, watch, watch. You know? But as y'all are watching this, y'all can see how competitive this lobby is in comparison to normal ones. Bro, move, bro. That's crazy. Oh, if I would have hit that. Quick scoping with this gun feels a lot like. Oh, I take that collateral. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, come on. I was just about to say, do y'all know when you hit that groove when you're playing? It's like sports, like when you throw that perfect throw or you shoot that perfect shot. You feel a groove coming on? Oh, I felt it coming on. Hey, yo, what the fuck? It didn't let me, it didn't let me shoot. It didn't let me shoot. So much about quick scoping, I honestly feel like it's muscle memory. Like if you quick scoped in the past, you can go years without quick scoping and still come back to it as long as the sniping is good. 
And this game sniping isn't that bad. Ugh, this game is just like everybody did good on their team. They all pretty much got more than 30 except for way too smack. You got 29, which is essentially 30. But that's why I understand like skill-based matchmaking. I feel like if they just toned it down, this game could be so much better. Then it really wouldn't matter about how bad the maps are because the maps are terrible. Let's, let's keep it a bean. But other than that, I really do think that Modern Warfare 2 is in a decent spot. We just need some more consistent content updates. Like, I don't know, do minor tweaks to the map. Give us some different variations, night, day cycles. I think DMZ is supposed to be getting a um a weather update in the future. I know they teased it. They said it was going to be a live weather cycle. So I think that would be cool. But we just need stuff to keep the game fresh. You feel what I'm saying? Because like I said, it's not a bad game. If you think Modern Warfare 2 is a bad game, you might, you might not be good at Call of Duty. You might just be bad, bro. And we're going to pray for you because it's okay but anyway that's gonna conclude it for me we got through some shit man i'll probably end up doing this a little bit more often i mean these style of videos are cool obviously i watch you know jev is like one of my favorite youtubers so if this was a lot like his video i mean it's because i enjoy watching it so i'm gonna try to create one you feel what i'm saying and if you've been around long enough then you know i've done this type of video before but i would appreciate it if you do like subscribe and hit the alert bell before you head out tell a friend to tell a friend bro i appreciate it love y'all bro peace